Pepsi on the stage with me now here in Birmingham, the reigning SWAC champion, Jackson State Tigers. What's going on? What's good, everybody? T.C. Taylor, the new head coach of the Tigers, running back J.D. Martin and Devontae Davis, the defensive lineman. Ah, that's still sinking. That still feels good coming into this media day. Um, TC, obviously, we'll start with you in terms of the way that Jackson State has um, put everybody on notice in the SWAC the last couple of years. You all predicted to finish second in the SWAC East. Uh, how do you feel about that, given that you're the reigning champs? Uh, you know, uh, it's a respect deal. You know, we look at it that way, but uh, I, I get it. I get it. You know, those are opinions right now. We had a lot of turnover on our roster, you know, so a lot of people don't see what we saw all summer with these guys preparing. One thing I tell everybody, understand this, that the guys that we did bring in, they still got a championship mentality. You know, they're preparing themselves like we're ready to go defend this thing uh, for a third season in a row, so we're looking forward to it. But, you know, those opinions, you know, that's going to happen. You know, we still got to play the games. In terms of a turnover, now it is the T.C. Taylor era. Yeah. And so what are you looking to accomplish and, and, and out of the gate uh, come, come the start of the season to let everybody know this is the stamp that you're looking to put on the program? I think it's a great setup. You look at what we got going on in 32 days in Atlanta against a South Carolina state team, uh, South Carolina State team in the MEAC. I think it's a great setup leading into the rest of the season. We talk about a team that we played in the Celebration Bowl two years ago that uh, kicked our butts. You know, Buddy Pugh had those guys ready to play. But I I'm excited about it going forward. You know, we talk about this year with uh, our players, we got 52 quarters to go win. Uh, we, we, win, we win 52 quarters. You talk about the Celebration Bowl from the beginning to the end. So I'm excited about it. Um, the coaches have done a great job. We got a great coaching staff in, in house. Some guys that I had success with at Central won some championships. Uh, so I'm excited about it. But it's all about these young men on stage and what they've been doing. You know, uh, with so many, so much turnover um, on the football team, I was more concerned about the chemistry. But they did a good job coming together and made things kind of easy this summer for us. So uh, I'm looking forward to you know going forward. Obviously, some of the names that we'll be looking to call this upcoming fall: J.D. Martin, Devontae Davis, who have been within the program. I'm going to go back to what Coach just said in terms of the way there was a sting a couple of years ago in that Cricket Celebration Bowl. To be able to face off against South Carolina State again coming up in August. Uh, you looking forward to it? I'm going to say probably yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. In terms of what you're most looking forward to show or prove on that stage, what is it? Uh, we expect to come out and dominate um, to the fullest expect. Um, we've been working very hard all summer and uh, spring, we'll be heading them to uh, fall camp. So we expect to uh, come in and have a great season. The type of attitude that you are going to bring to the defensive side of the ball this year, obviously both of you all are proudly wearing <laughs> your championship That's ring. The around you know, the hardware for sure. Devontae, though, what type of attitude will the Tigers come out with on defense? The same dominance, the same dominance defense that we've had in the past two years. I expect the same thing because I'm holding it. all the players on defense accountable, not just on the front line, but the players behind me too. When you hear um, in terms of what the expectations are, in terms of the turnover, what's the product that we're going to see? What are those things that we're not seeing? Uh, or uh, We've talked so much, and you heard Commissioner McClellan talk about just how uh, Coach Prime did a great work and Jackson now with Coach T.C. Taylor who you're quite familiar with already What is it like to play for him? What is it like to train under him and get to know him? What kind of swagger does he have? For me, I've been with Coach T.C. since 2019 So it's nothing different, but I, I know what he expected out of me And I know he expect me to lead the defense to back to the championship in terms of those shoes, Devontae, we just have to give a quick shout out right there. Nice. Go ahead and show them out. You know, Coach, Coach Taylor said, look, check out the shoe game of Devontae. He's putting everybody on notice right now. Uh, pretty spiffy right there. When you, when you think about the start of the season, right, like you say we're going to face off against Florida A&M and that OBC, and everybody knows how important that game is. How do you all look to use that game as to set the tone for you all? And can you run the table? again this year in the conference? Um, I feel like we can, because we've been putting in the work. We've been putting in the hard work all, all spring, like I said, all spring, all summer. So nothing changed, still, still the same expectation 
and to stay at the same standard. All right, you see the schedule on the screen. Uh, TC, just in terms of commenting, there are a number of different games, but you all will get a number of television games early on. You start off on ABC with that Cricket Miak Swack challenge florida a m and then southern as well that's a heavy load to start off the season yeah that's a gauntlet you know it's a gauntlet. it's a great test for our football team though it's going to be a great test for us even if you're looking at that texas state game coming in the fourth game in bethune you know that first home game um for a first time head coach it's going to be kind of tough <laughs> you know but I, i'm totally confident in what we're going to bring to the table you know uh with this football team you know uh, the preparation has been good from my uh coaching staff these players as well as myself we're ready to go we're ready to go we understand the assignment and we're looking forward to it in terms of what's going to get you back to Atlanta in December, mm -hmm. what's that going to be? Guys, I'll ask the same of you. Coach first. Well, we already already know how tough it is in the East and, you know, what that Orange Blossom Classic name means. So, you know, no slippage. We can't slip. We got to uh, bring our A game each and every week. You know, we touch the football field. Um, one or two losses in the East, you know, that, that can be – tough on a football team, and we understand that. Um, we hadn't had any swag losses in the last two years, and we, we plan on continuing that, and, you know, and we know how important that is. Fellas, before I get to you, I'm going to ask Coach, how do you feel, though, when you take a look at that all-conference list oh, and you only question. see one Jackson State player on first-team offense or defense? They don't know. Period, point blank, they don't know. You know, we're going to show them. You know, like I said, that's a bunch of opinions of a lot of people in the room. Um, we got a lot of good players at Jackson State, uh, developing our players, getting them ready for football games. But they're going to see. You know, we did a great job recruiting. You talk about what we did in recruiting, uh, number one HBCU class, uh, number two in FCS. So we've been seeing it on an everyday basis. We just looking forward to those 32 days we marking on the calendar so everybody can finally understand, like, JSU still mean business. All right, fellas, back to you. What's it going to take to get back to Atlanta again and this time try to win it for the sweat? Um, I say stay disciplined, um, still be who we are, and don't change who we are. Uh, we always going to keep that bond, that chemistry, and that's all it takes. For me, most definitely, um, I feel like we could, defense aside, we're going to create more turnovers this year. Mm. So, you know, with the defense score, it's going to get an offense a little leeway. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal this year, the defense score more. All right, the defense, Devontae Davis says, is going to lead the way this year for Jackson State to try to make it back to the Cricket Celebration Bowl. T.C. Taylor, thank you so much for joining us. J.D., along with Devontae, good luck on the upcoming season. On the other side, we'll talk to the new head man from Mississippi.